what is up how is it going so today's extra exciting because my sister and i each built our childhood home from our memories we were very young when we lived here but this house was really creepy and when we were building it we felt scared in the basement still and so we're going to walk through the one that i built i'm going to explain it and then we're going to walk through hers i have not seen hers yet so we shall see oh janelle's here janelle knows that's one of our sisters hi nick let's just get right into it here we go so janelle what do you think how do you think i did on the outside there was the there was a tree in the front yard we lived on the boulevard it was called the boulevard so there was like a main road right there where those lights are there was always the yard was just full of weeds there was never grass we never had grass on the sidewalk we had our handprints in there okay so we're gonna go in through the front door and as i remember there was a hole right here looking into the kitchen is that accurate okay so i could have sworn there was a hole right there when you walked in, in the door so you come into this living room there was a couch right here the carpet was a janky orange color I, it was shag carpet at one point there was a piano there one that i remember um there was a tv one of those big box tvs it was over here but i couldn't put it there so there was a tv there there was a computer right here um there was a like a rocking chair that I, the tv didn't have any sound and so i would sit here and watch tv after school and eat a lunchable sometimes um and i'd watch tv <laughs> there was like a a like a stove here and then like we didn't really have designated bedrooms but like we kind of did at certain times and so i this was considered the hamster room oh no i didn't fix the walls oops this was all supposed to be orange that's okay this was my room at one point none of the windows had curtains or anything um but i wanted the walls painted orange and so we painted them orange and then this over here was like a closet that had like drawers underneath it this bathroom you guys here i'll tell you some stories so it had one window right here it had a bathtub a toilet a sink and a door but the door didn't lock so the way that you had to lock the door was there were drawers right here and you had to pull the drawer out. You had to pull this drawer out. And then you come here and this was a bedroom. Here's there's I've got stories about this bedroom. OK, for starters, we had hamsters. That room eventually became the hamster room. We had hamsters and one of our hamsters got out and I closed the door and on the hamster's head. I killed the hamster. Right here. And then our best friend, Melissa. Uh, they gave us a bunch of walnuts one time at her birthday party and we went in this closet right here and sat right here on the floor and threw them at the wall to crack them. Uh, this was like a little thing that you could get up on, but up here had a bunch of toys and stuff in it. So it kind of looked down, but as kids, you couldn't get up there. It didn't have a bat, but I mean, it, it should have. Um, so you could get up here. Well, my cousin was up here one day and threw a light fixture down on my sister's head and split it open but he threw it from up there but there there was a bunk bed here so the space between the bunk bed and like the dresser that was right here was like a foot so that's i made this a little too big from this bedroom it could go into the laundry room but this is the laundry room there was always laundry piles up to the ceiling you had to walk all across all the laundry just to get over to her bathroom so all of that was connected her bathroom had a shower a toilet and a sink um this is also where her boyfriends washed my mouth out with soap <laughs> and there was a dead mouse and i was like i can't come in there because there's a, a mouse and he's like you better get in here and so he made me go in there and put a bar of soap in my mouth that was super cool <laughs> this was my mom's bedroom I literally don't remember my mom's bedroom. I remember she had a water bed and I remember a crib. That's, I, I don't remember my mom's room. 
um, the living room. And then there was like a sectional couch here. Um, she, oh, here's the kitchen. So when you come in through the front room here, there was a kitchen. There was a, a fridge here, a stove from what I can remember. And what I can remember, my mom didn't really cook ever, but I remember her making meatloaf on this stove and she made them in the shape of boobs. And I thought it was like, it was so cool to me. There was like a space that I remember between the counters. I'm not sure if I'm remembering that correctly. I thought there was a little bit of a space. And then another counter, I think the microwave was maybe over here. And I don't remember if there were cupboards up top. I know there was over here. And I know this down here, the bottom drawer was literally filled with cat food and we would just pull out the drawer. We would just pull the bottom drawer out and let the cats eat out of it. It were gross. Uh, the sink was right here. Um, we had a hamster cage at one point over here because we saw inside of the hamster cage once and there were little babies. There was a dining room table right there. And I remember over here is where we kept our food, but I was over here trying to find food and I jumped up and I clobbered my head on a cupboard and cut it open. My mom used to collect trolls. And so this, inner, this uh, little cupboard thingy, she had all her little trolls that we like cut it, their hair and stuff. We used to blast when my mom was at home. We used to blast when my sisters would sneak over boys. Uh, Spice Girls when to become one. <laughs> uh, there was a fireplace there. I don't remember what it looked like. Uh, the, the this, this gets kind of like fuzzy for me. I know that we had a wall over here that was had mirrors. My mom had like one of those recumbus. What are they called? A recumbus bike one of those like sitting bikes and she would sit there all day riding that bike and playing video games yes the teletubbies cake yes so my mom had a, a bike right here there was i don't remember any sort of coffee table there was a sectional here wait till you guys see the game room this is what we called the game room and i kept the lighting the same so let me explain this. There was a door here and it, we called it the game room. That's just what it was called. But you come in the game room and there was this creepy thing here and it had doors on it. It was some sort of like claw, uh, cubbies. I'm not sure what was inside of it. I remember looking inside of it sometimes, but it was always full of crap. So this is garbage. These are like boxes more garbage because that's all i remember is just a bunch of garbage um a door to outside and there was like a dirt path that only went like part way down so then you come back through here and there's more garbage and garbage bags that were piled up over in this corner there was a a pool table over here garbage bags of i'm not sure what was in it all this is garbage garbage um over here okay here's a here's a fun story janelle and i had a mattress in this corner and we decided to sleep where's the bed on the pool table okay see i didn't put that but that's right there was a bed on the pool table at one point we would sleep in this corner but one night me and her decided to go sleep downstairs in the basement and we got woken up by strangers telling us our house was on fire because I won't mention any names, but somebody accidentally lit a fire with a cigarette butt. I mean, we know who it was. Uh, started a fire. So if that is not God looking out for us, I don't know what is. But anyways, that corner burned down where our bed was. And so we had strangers come in the house. Your house is on fire. You need to come out. They put us in their car. The house was on fire. They put it out, but this corner was on fire, and that's where Janelle and I would sleep. There was some sort of bike here because I remember sitting on it and getting bit by a wasp. My mom had a nail a nail um, table here, and I thought it was so cool because I would come on it, and it just seemed so big. Uh, yeah, same day. It was the same day. 
a miracle happened that day for us. But anyways, it seemed really big to me, so I made it really big. Um, and then there was this window right here, and it opened, and then we would jump out and then go outside because there was like a little shed right here. No. So I think what it was is my brothers had, my little brothers had like little cars and somebody made them like a little garage to put their little cars in. And so it was like there, but we would like get on top of it. And then there was a swing set, but Jade and I took these little tiny tents and lived outside without anybody noticing outside for how many days do you think we made it at least five yeah the sun started melting our tents because we lived out there so long and then let's go You're down apparently i don't remember that but apparently i shoved jade out that window and sprained her ankle was i feeling like adrenaline yeah. Remember, Hayden was taking us. okay yeah okay yeah, maybe I should have went first, trying to get me caught. This was the basement. Now, let me tell you about the basement, okay? My aunt at one point, I believe, from my memory, had painted on the wall going downstairs. Like, to me, what I remember was it was a prison cell. And it was... Prison cell. Okay, great. My memory is pretty good. It was a prison cell. So it was scary going down here. Well, my mom started dating this guy that decided, oh, I'm going to make the kids bedrooms down here. So he decided to make us bedrooms. Well, he decides to put my bedroom back here in this creepy little area. I never actually lived in it, but it, there, it was supposed to be back here. It wasn't finished either. I think it was just still wood. This wasn't very big. It was just like a little tiny area. I think there was a furnace or something in it. This is carpet. Um, I couldn't get it to grow, but it used to flood down here. And when it would flood, um, a little bean had gotten on the floor and started growing a plant. And then in here was a bedroom, but this was a bedroom. I remember Hanson posters being on the walls. This was another bedroom. Oh yeah, all that orange is not supposed to be there. There's supposed to be windows. My sister just moved. And so um, she, we, I haven't been able to get on here, so I couldn't fix this before I went live. There was windows here, I think a window over here. And then this was Jade's room. And I think she lived there for a couple days before this ceiling bubbled halfway down to the floor. And then rabbits with rabbit turds all over the floor. And what's funny, while I was building this, Jade had to come sit in the basement with me because I started feeling so creeped out. Anyways, okay, that was my tour. I have not seen Jade, so let's go see hers. Oh, here, I'll, I'll go around the outside. All over. Everything was weeds. Where did the guinea pigs live? I don't know. I don't remember. Did we have guinea pigs at that house? Anyways, there was a bunch of weeds. And then if you came out here... There was a horse pasture over here and like a little horse shed. Jade almost got kidnapped back behind our house. There was like a little car lot looking thing. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Jade's. I mean, it's pretty much going to be like yours, just done differently. Like I did it where the boulevard is right here. Okay, so this is the boulevard. Okay, this is the house. Oh. Okay, she did hers a lot smaller than mine. We had a dog chained up out front at, to the tree so okay let's go see oh my gosh yes so there were these little things at the front and we used to grab onto them and then swing around <laughs> oh that's crazy okay oh you put guinea pigs in here did we have a rabbit cage in the front Okay, apparently we had a huge rabbit cage. Oh, that's right. We had a rabbit cage and then a chinchilla cage on top of it. And then an accident happened and my mom's chinchilla had ba a baby and my sisters accidentally killed it. This is the rocking chair we were bucking around on. You got me in trouble. Maybe I have to lock myself in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> so apparently my sister and I were bucking on this chair and what happened? You hit me? 
on accident? Well, because you know we were flinging around, and I think I my knee came up and hit you or something because we were flinging around, so you went full on me. <laughs> okay, Melissa remembers the rabbit cage right there. I don't remember that. Okay, and then here's that bedroom. Okay, this bedroom. See, hers feels more accurate because it was like a really tight. It felt really tight in this house. So you would come in, in the bathroom. There was a tub, the toilet, the sink, the little drawer that you pull out to lock the door. This room. Wissa, this. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't put I hope mom on the wall. Who glued that to the wall? Me. Jade glued. What was it? A little mermaid watch. Yeah. Jade glued a little mermaid watch right here to the wall so that's hilarious that she put it there but we used to be we could sit on this it was like a like a you can climb inside of it so there was a bunk bed right there this was that little cubby hole right here somewhere on the wall i wrote i hope mom because i didn't i was trying to write i hate mom but i didn't know how to spell it so i put i hope mom and she always mentions it so i was gonna put a plaque and put i hope mom on it i forgot so explain this, because I don't remember this. Washer, dryer. I, remember the wa I just know the washer is with the water, so I don't know where the washer, dryer stuff was. Right. Was there actually a cupboard over here? I don't even think so. Okay. There's always <laughs> a know. there's always a laundry basket on top of my mom's washer and dryer. Toilet. <laughs> sink. My mom's bedroom. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. My mom had a water bed. My mom still has a waterbed. Did she, didn't she have a closet in there? Did she not have a closet? We ne we weren't allowed in my mom's room, I don't think. Like what I did in mine? Yeah. You had a colorful childhood? I did. I sure did. Okay, here's the kitchen. I know, isn't it cute? Okay, here's the kitchen. The sink, the drawer where you pull out for the cat food, the fridge. I see. I thought the stove and the fridge touched each other. Was there a little bit of a counter first? I feel like they might have had one counter between. Okay. And wasn't there between like the stove and the other counter, wasn't there a little space where we kept the broom? Oh, I think so. Okay. It's sounding familiar. Yeah. All, yeah, tons of storage under mom's bed, for sure. Then there was a microwave over here. I thought the microwave was just on the stove or the counter, but maybe it wasn't. Um, it was on the counter. That's supposed to be on the counter. Oh, okay. But the, that's just what it looked like. A dining room table. What's on the table? What is that? Cake. There was a phone over here on the wall. Is that what that is? Yeah, I tried to make it with the phone. We had a cord phone, you know, one of those. This. Well, I like all the weeds in the back. <laughs> no, this is the front. Yeah, man. Oh, that's the front. <laughs> there, there were weeds everywhere. So same. There was a fireplace, TV. My mom's bike is not there, but there was a bike there. Remember the bookshelf that had encyclopedias on it? Yes, that's right. And we had it had those little globe things that had like spring whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure this is where we watched the Titanic too. And it was in two DVD or two movies, two actual movies. I do remember watching the one eyed, one horn flying purple people eater right there. Okay, see, Jay didn't put all the garbage like I did. I put some garbage. I mean, I feel like mine looked a little more accurate. Yeah, remember I just said that, but obviously I can't pop. Oh, so this is Jade's? Did you guys both make one? Yeah, this is Jade's version of it. Oh, I missed yours. Dang, I'm gonna watch the video. You will. It's mine's I feel like mine's Jade's Jade's is good in size. I feel like if Jade and I would have done this together, we would have You should it, have did one together. We should have. I just wanted to see how different our memories were. Did the couch have a pull-out bed? That couch did. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that look? Oh, glass blocks. Got it. Okay. Bedroom. Oh, that's something I didn't tell you guys. So these were those 
big thick glass blocks but he never finished down here so janelle knows uh he never finished it well one of them ended up getting broken and cut my sister's foot and almost cut her last three toes off so she had to go to the hospital and get those stitched on i ended up cutting my foot as well but i refused to go to the hospital so i still have a scar on the bottom of my foot it got me really good okay and then up here i didn't do this up here there's um a little area jade go ahead and tell them what up there was <laughs> go ahead and tell them what what you had up here <laughs> go up to your computer lab <laughs> can i tell them that story can i tell them the story so jade had a friend over and told her that there was a computer lab up here so her friend was like we'll prove it so jade goes up here and <laughs> got her head stuck but all it was is her ear when she would try to pull it out her ear was stuck so she got her head stuck and her friend had to go tell my mom's boyfriend that she was stuck in there <laughs> And again, this was Jade's room where the ceiling bubbled. This was a room that you literally, or this was down here, you had to run up the stairs because something was going to get you. It was Leslie. Yeah. Leslie was over and Jade had a computer lab and Leslie was like, then go up there. And so Jade went to go up there. Just Leslie calling me on my bullshit. <laughs> just, just Leslie calling me on my bullshit. <laughs> So anyways, there's that. We're gonna, I'm gonna go outside. There's the most adorable picture of my sister sitting in like this area. Old Jasper back, back on her BS. That's what Melissa said. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, there it is. That's so crazy. Okay, so there's my sisters. Doesn't that just look like it? You guys should collaborate and make one together. Oh, here's a funny story, and then we're actually going to get off. So back over here, there was like a bunch of little tiny looking flowers, and Jade and I were like trying to keep the boy. we called them the boys, trying to keep the boys off of them. They look like these little white ones right here don't get on these flowers don't squish the flowers blah 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 we don't want to squish the flowers like a week later they turned into a bunch of goat heads so we saved goat heads yeah good thing we saved those goat heads. we're yeah good thing we saved the goat heads good morning john we established i could call you john right but anyways there it is there it is and what we used to have to do we would have to get ourselves up in the morning for school and we'd watch right here for the bus because the bus would be coming down from here because melissa lived down that down yonder but we would wait for the school bus and then when we would see the school bus coming we would hurry out here run down there and try and make it to the school bus before they left without us if they did leave without us we had to run back here with our backpack run get through the get through the horse pasture run all the way across the horse pasture run all the way across the horse pasture way back here to where our auntie's house was run past that and try and catch the bus or our mom would get really mad at us for missing the bus can you hear jade melissa when you'd see the horses you'd have to walk past the horse so the horse wouldn't chase you <laughs> I, remember, I remember that oh my gosh dude, dude that was no joke that's what Melissa just said. Anyways, I'm not going back in. Oh, let me tell you before I go, guess where I'm going shortly to work. I have. So if anybody knows anything about dreams, please analyze this dream. I have a reoccurring dream that this house, I'm here 
in this window and it was just one big window it didn't have any like panes or anything it's just one solid window this house is on fire i am stuck inside of this house burning down and my family's out front watching it i've had this dream so many times that i'm always right here in this window hope you enjoyed this I'm really curious as to how my sister and I would have done if we collaborated together. But obviously, our memories are seared into our brain of this, what was going on in this situation. Anyways, we're going to get off. That was my childhood home. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all on Friday. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.